previously on Survivor. We see Derek claiming the first snake advantage, knowing that there will be a returnee in this game. After the challenge, we see Maroon 9 come away with the victory, as Nissan finds the first idol of the season, replaces it with a fake, and Daisy finds that fake. We also see Jack create a majority alliance between himself, Eli, Andrew, and Summer and Abby. Back at Zeleni, we see Hannah regain her trust with her other tribe mates, creating a solid 5 alliance between herself, Meg, Austin, Erica, and Mike. Despite some hesitation from Erica and Mike, Noah is the second person voted out of this game. Who will be voted out next? Find out tonight on Survivor Syracuse Snakes and Secrets. Noah voted out the last tribal council. So we'll start with this. The snake was not revealed once again. So I'll give the opportunity of the snake to step forward if they want to do so. If they want to do so, they should now. Erica? <laughs> All right, Nassan, what's your, what's your view on first Noah getting voted off um, before the challenge? <laughs> I'm not really sure. I don't know what their their name thought of. They seem closer. So. Fair enough. Fair enough. Summer, what's your view on them having two advantages now? Um, I don't think I'm jealous. I think we're still gonna do well, even though we don't have them. I'm definitely interested in what they are, but I'd rather have won the challenge than have gotten an advantage. Fair enough. All right, guys, so as a disclaimer, Jack is sick with possibly pneumonia, so we wish him well. Um, so we're doing an 8-7, or we'll, uh, we'll work it out for this active challenge. So everyone step down. We're just going to walk through the challenge. First, each of you will have a 7.5, roughly, uh, stone, pound stone. Five people from each team will have to do a lap. You see those little pegs to your right with the corresponding tribes? You'll have to go around and back those. I will be in the middle section to make sure you cross that line. You do that five times, handing it off to the next person, the next person, the next person. Once that five is done, the next two people will be doing this. So you guys see that bucket in the middle? So one at a time, ball on the wooden plank. You'll have to walk it. I'm not the type to do this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> if you drop it, you have to go all the way back. walk it all the way down to the bucket and you have to make it into the bucket the same two people have to do that three times after you get three balls in the in the bucket one person you guys want to double up one person will run all the way down to that table and grab the immunity idol for the challenge this is after the person this is after the everything. The balls. Yeah. So after the third ball goes in the bucket? Or so after, after the third back? ball goes in the bucket, you have to come back to the plate, and the person who's designated to run all the way down grabs it and then comes back. On my go, you'll start running. Remember, behind and around. Okay. Survivor's ready. Go! Go! Where's your 
pace. Go, go, go! go. Mike, don't go fast. Take your time. Come on, Nice lead. Good job, Austin. There you go. Sweaty, you're good. Sweaty drops. Go back. Take your time. Good job, girls. Go slower, guys. You guys got it. You guys got it. You guys got it. Guys, take your time. Good job, ladies. You guys are amazing. Amazing guys! Great job, great Let's job, go. great job! You got it guys! Yes guys! Yes, guys. Come on, look through the bucket, look through the bucket! Here goes the wedding! Lower, 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 lower! Lower, lower, lower! Come on, come back, come back, come back! Great job, great job! Go, 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 go! Come on!
Do you need to go to Kraus? Ah, shit, bro. All right, so lost our first challenge today. Obviously sucks. Sucks that I was the last one to get back, but Mike's a good runner. He's really pushed through. He's hopefully feels better later. Um, it's for tribal. I don't feel that threatened yet. I feel like I have a good amount of uh, friends in the group. A few alliances set up, so I'm feeling pretty good right now. We'll see how the rest of this week goes. I thought it went well for our team. I think like despite the fact that we lost, we did work really well as a team. Um, I think ultimately it came down to Abby and I being more worried about dropping it like towards the end and also um, dropping the ball towards the end. So I think we tried to pace that. I, just, I don't want to say it's on us, but because I think we did work well as a team and um, overall, like obviously it's a bummer that we lost, but I will say it's gonna be hard. Um, and it's, I think it's gonna be hard to choose who gets um, voted out right now. The girls on the team have a strong, like a connection going. But again, you know, it's also an individual game. So I, somebody could be lying. <laughs> she told me that she has a um, immunity idol. She found it and I'm not sure, but I should give her that information. Like I told Diana and I told her she can't talk to me. But I feel like it might be good. I don't want her to go home because I feel like she'd be a good alliance member once we do a tribe merge. <laughs> um, but I think that if um, if I expose it, then try I just need their tribe to be in madness like our tribe was the last few weeks. So I have to think on that one. But I'm glad we won and we don't have to worry for a week. We won! We finally won! And the vote was planned. It was Nova, and which is which is cool. And um, now we have a better sense of when the tribe swap will come. Because if we lost it for a third time, I think it would have come at 15. But now that we won, I think it's going to come at 14. And now we know maybe we have a chance to equal up the numbers. I'm so happy we won that challenge last night. Myself and my panels were out of our minds. We were so paranoid last night. Um, my girl was gonna be here today, and I told him right after that challenge, he completely pulled the girl out for us. I told him, dude, you're not going to really big camp, but you won't. After that, we, it's very relieving based on how paranoid we were last night that it was gonna be one of us, um, that it wasn't, and it was actually unanimous, and Noah is the best thing for us. We were all. None of us slept last night. It was crazy, um, but we won. We have a week to just chill um, and regroup. But oh my god, it was so great to win today. So great. I like the golden goat. Thank you. As a snake advantage holder, you can use and share this information however you'd like, but you and only you can make the benefits. Talk about secrets, a tribe swap is coming, and maybe you want to be in numbers, in the numbers or with the people you trust, right? Or maybe you screw over someone who has done you wrong. The reward. That said, at some point pre-merge, we will swap tribes to either two or three tribes. Once we get into our new tribes, host Luke will say the words, quote, if anyone is unsatisfied and would like to play an advantage, now would be the time to do so. If you want to move places from your new tribe to another, swapping yourself out with someone else who is on another team, this advantage allows you to do that. Keep in mind, I can't disclose whether more than one tribe swap will happen this season. Tri tribe swapper rules can only be used once, can only swap yourself with someone on another tribe. If you get voted out, this advantage leaves with you. <laughs> That's and it's only if you can only use it for yourself. Uh, so right after the challenge we won um, I'm currently on my way to some hospital thing medical. <laughs> first medical ever apparently uh, I hit my chin on the rock first literally first like two steps I took 
trip, bust my ass, um, and rock goes right into my chin. Jaw kind of hurts, I got a cut, but we're dealing with it. Uh, I'm gonna have to get some stitches, but nothing too bad. So today has gone about as perfectly as it ever could have. Um, our second trip of council was today. Um, last night, me, Mike, and Erica started getting a little suspicious that the other five might be plotting like a flip against one of us. But um, in the end, after a very long FaceTime conversation with the three of us, we decided to just sit it out and trust them. And they came through, so Noah got voted out. Uh, it also got us our first immunity clue, which came out maybe an hour after the challenge. And me, Mike, and Erica obviously are very close but none of us really knew what it meant. And I was going out to start searching around maybe 1.45, 2 o'clock. I just got back to my room when the clue came out and I was gonna meet Erica to search up for it because we had no idea what the clue even meant. Um, I don't have it memorized, but we, it was very vague and cryptic. But as we walked over there, we ran into Hannah, Megan, and Addie searching together. Um, and they brought up their ideas and they started listing off where they thought about checking and they mentioned the mount stairs and as soon as they said the mount stairs it clicked to me that that's where it was the clue was something about um watching people walk by um but it was 39 days in but don't go too high and i was pretty convinced that the clue if it was there it would be on the 39th step or something like that so what I wanted to do was run down the stairs as fast as, as just as soon as we got there, get as far down as possible, get all the way down, and then walk up 39 stairs and look around there. That's what I thought it would be. Um, but I didn't really want to be suspicious and just take off by myself, go down there. So I went with the group, kind of a little ahead of everyone, but kept going. Eric and I are kind of in front, and there are benches along the way down. Um, so Erica got a little ahead of me, and there was like a little landing, and there was a bench on it. And I kind of looked at her like, hey, maybe like you should look at that bench, like see if it's there. While well, I kept going down the stairs, I want to get to the bottom, count up 39. And sure enough, it was under that bench. So I wish I was the one who found it because I was far enough, far enough ahead to check that at one point. But i um, definitely glad it was Eric who found it. You've found a hidden immunity idol. Idols must be played prior to the reading of the votes. Can la idols can last be played at the final five. They can be played for someone else, but must be verbally, yeah. If you get voted out, the idol leaves with you. If you have not done so, vlog this moment and then proceed to text Luke here that he found, if found and not a part of Survivor, please. <laughs> Turn it too. And then this on. is this is big. <laughs> this is huge. This is huge. It's funny because it's so small. <laughs> Guys, those are two wins. Two wins in one day. Yeah. Let's go. As far as the immunity idol, I did not even realize it was in play. I literally went to the library right afterwards. And when I was walking back, I saw Hannah and Megan looking for it. So I decided to join them. And and then we found Austin and Erica. And I'm so mad because once I read the clue, like it took me a little bit, but I figured it out. But I couldn't just leave the group because they would think it's so sketchy. So I had to follow them and I was just hoping that they would not go to the mount stairs. But they did and Erica ended up finding the idol like under this bench thingy in the stairs. And I literally, oh. She has so much power at this point. I really needed that because at this point, if we lose one more challenge, it's gonna be me or Derek. And it's sounding like everyone is down to keep Derek around just because he has that uh, reward. But for me, I think it's I think it's the dumbest thing to keep him around because we don't know. Just because he's like he shared the idol with us and. Um, 
first he lied about it, but just because we know what the power up is and it may help us in the future, it doesn't mean he's gonna actually use it on us. And I don't think the pe I don't think these people get it. I'm trying to tell Hannah like how it's still risky to keep him around. There's literally no reason he has. Yeah, he owes us, but doesn't mean he's gonna go through with it. So, honestly, I thought I could get a week a break, but I didn't. And now Erica has literally. Um, two advantages or we have yeah she has she has the yeah she has the snake and now she has a freaking immunity idol what the fuck she's I don't think she's even on like the chopping block because she's so close with Mike and Hannah Ugh, this is frustrating I don't really know I don't know what's gonna happen honestly it's nice that we have this week where we don't we're not running anyone out but I'm still scared for next challenge we just have to win it because I'm pretty sure that the merge is going to be the week after that. So, yeah. I'm all stitched up now. Thanks to uh, Urgent Care with Luke. <laughs> Shout out Luke for the ride. Um, and while I was in there, right after I got my stitches, Erica shoots me and Austin a text saying she found the idol already. So, um, that's huge. And now I feel kind of bad keeping the fact that I have an idol from them. But... I'm not going to tell them just yet. Um, I don't think anyone even knows that there was a clue for another idol. So, there's no... I don't think there's any reason for them to believe anyone else has something. And I'm just going to keep that for now. If I have to share it, I will. I know it's dumb to share idols sometimes, but I trust them enough right now. I'm just not going to yet. So, our clue to the idol was, I sit and I wait as the young pass by. I'm 39 days in, don't go too high. So, right as that clue came out, I immediately started looking all over campus. I looked at all of the bus stops. Um, I looked at, um, I looked at the bus stop by College Place because I thought, oh, like, I sit and I wait as the young pass by. The young don't really stop at College Place, they kind of just walk by. Um, so I looked there, and then I looked at the statue in between Maxwell and Eggers, because that is a dude sitting. And then I went to the Steps by Day Hall, because I knew there was benches there, and um, the young walk up. So I looked there, too, and I didn't find anything. And that's where it turned out to be. So, um... Yeah. <laughs> um, I also talked to Eli a little bit. He messaged me. He's like, hey, you don't have to respond, but why did you vote out Noah? I have to know. Like, why did you vote out Noah? And I was like, well, um, I told him because we thought he was the snake. I was lying. I don't really trust Eli. So I was like lying through my teeth when I was talking to him. Sorry. <laughs> Watch us like have an alliance later so he said why did you guys think it was Noah oh yeah so he said um he said hey you don't have to answer this but um why was Noah voted out like I gotta know and I said we thought he was the snake he said oh rip Noah then and I said has your team talked about who the snake is at all and he said yeah we have no idea who it could be but we don't really know where to start um, uh, he said, why did you guys think it was Noah? Maybe we can learn from your mistakes. Um, and I said, we thought it was Noah because um, he just kept making sure that we wouldn't vote out the snake. And he had the right paper, so it was like really hard to tell who was the snake and who wasn't. Um, uh, he said, yeah, ours is going to be really hard to tell. And then I was like, oh yeah, I changed my mind like 18 times before the vote. And he said... He said, oh, that's fun, like a bad kind of fun. So, I kind of like lied a little bit. But it was for the good. It was for the good of the team. We won. We voted out Noah. But I had to stand and watch as Erica found the hidden immunity idol. The real hidden immunity idol. And we were looking right around where I placed my fake. And she has to find the real one. 
it's just depressing. It's it's really it it's it's so I'm so mad. I'm so mad at myself because if I had just actually been looking rather than being so preoccupied with if they were gonna find my fake or how I could point out the you know how I could get them to look for the fake actually. I would have been down there and I would have found it first. And it's, it sucks. Because another one's not going to come into the game for a while. Because I don't, I'm not going to get the Maroon 9 one. That's probably already found. That's already found. And then I'm not going to get... Obviously, that the, that one was just found. So if there's a third out there, where am I supposed to start looking? Like... Sucks. Sucks. I wanted to be the idol queen. My quote was literally, I will beg, borrow, and steal idols. And and I'm not living up to it. And it's fucking frustrating. So now Erica not only has an advantage where she can... Um, in the tr She has advantage with tribe swap and how that can work. It's frustrating. Very frustrating, but we won. We're going to see what their tribe is doing. Hopefully they vote out someone who's a threat and it's not a throwaway vote. That's all I'm saying. The challenge was alright. It was fun, but we lost during the balancing of the balls. Um, nobody really like did bad during our challenge, but the other team just like killed us and when we were balancing the balls and we, they and we lost the lead that we had. Um, I feel like Daisy and uh, Abby kind of have a target on their back now because like we had the lead and then uh, they lost it during balancing. But the other tribe just they were they did that part really fast. Um, but we'll see. I'll see where the tribe's heads at. See, um, see if they think that like, that's a, a reason to vote them off, and see where we see where we go from there. Okay, so unfortunately, we lost our first challenge today, which sucks. But honestly, it's kind of exciting because there's a lot of gameplay going on, and I'm gonna open my envelope. I really don't think I have the snake. Oops, I just oh. But if I do, I'm gonna be a little scared. Okay, good. I'm good. All right, just got back from challenge number three. Obviously, it's our first loss. Tough. Um, this is the first time we've had to go through tribal. So I guess we'll start with opening the thing. I don't really know how to do it. Oh, there we go. Let's see. I'm not the snake, so I don't have much to worry about this week other than I guess trying to figure out who the snake is and um, deciding my game plan for Tribal. Um, I think right now I gotta be leaning towards Daisy just because based on how the challenge went I feel like with the balancing, balancing uh, she kinda got us behind after we'd won the initial leg of the race so I started out behind on the final run. Um, and also because I don't really have an alliance with her. The other person balancing was Abby, and I do have an alliance with her. So right now, I gotta talk to some people, the rest of the kids in the tribe, but right now, um, <clears throat> I'm leaning towards voting out Daisy. So we lost our third challenge, which is the first challenge we've lost as a tribe from Route 9. And Luke handed us the envelopes at Tribal. And I'm really nervous to find out what I got. So we're gonna find out right now. <sighs> we'll see. What does this say? I am the snake. How did I know I was gonna get this? Wow, this is so crazy. I literally thought this was gonna happen to me. Okay, so I am the snake. As the snake, here are the three outcomes. One, I get voted out, guarantee my tribe a challenge advantage. Two, I make it past tribal, 
but remaining anonymous, the other team gets an individual advantage via a random draw. Three, I make it past tribal and revealing myself granting me the advantage. I cannot give away the snake. We have supplemented you with a fake note card to trick people if you want, so I got the fake note card so I can be like, I'm not the snake. Text Luke right away so he knows you're the snake. It's so funny because I literally thought that I would be the snake. Of course this would happen to me. So hopefully people don't think I'm the snake. <laughs> this is going to be a crazy week and we have till Sunday. Till Sunday. So I don't even know. Gosh, I hope I get away with this. I mean, I'm not, I'm just gonna obviously say I'm not the snake, but we'll see what happens. So I just found out a few hours ago that we lost the challenge. Not the best news I wanted. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't be there. Uh, I had a medical emergency, so I had to go to the hospital this morning. Hopefully my tribe doesn't uh, hold that against me because I wasn't there, because they could all team up and just say he wasn't there. Then we should vote him out. But I have faith in my alliance, and the plan right now is to try and hide the five secret five that we have, which is Eli, Andrew, Summer, Abby, and myself. We're gonna try and hide that as long as we can because we have nine. And we also have nine, five guys. So if the five guys vote together, then the girls can pretend they're with the other girls, which would be awesome. And we can keep this secret alliance as secretive as possible until we really have to pull it out and do some damage in the game. Um, I'm also not the snake and I know that all of the guys aren't the snake. Summer and Abby are not the snakes. I've seen proof of the note cards. So it's either Daisy or Geneva, and I'm thinking Daisy needs to go. Um, right now, just the first day. Um, my first initial person I want to put put in the block is uh, unfortunately Daisy. Um, I say her because she's one of the names, first of all, that she might be the snake. So if we, if she is the snake and we do vote her off, we get that, we get that advantage. And then, I don't know, I feel like she's got some tricks up her sleeves. So, I mean, I like her. She's real nice, she's real friendly. But, I don't know, someone's some throwing me off. So, I've been talking with some tribe mates. Trying to figure out about tribal. Um, the boys want to do a 5 4 split, boys versus girls. Uh, I think that's kind of lame. You know? I, I don't know. It's kind of an easy way out. Now, could one of them be thinking the same thing? Something different? Just maybe not want to do that? Maybe. But. I'm gonna see what I can work with. So I talked to Geneva. She wants to work with me, I think. Um, we vlogged together. Great time. Hey everybody, it's me and Mitch just hanging out at the West Campus Starbucks talking about the game because we have to vote someone out in a couple of days. Yeah, I'm not very excited about that. We're not. We're not. Coffee and our coffee and our K-pop. Yep, so. yep, absolutely. Um, we've been just starting to talk about all of our tribe mates, what we think about them. I mean, overall, I think we like them all. Um, I think that one thing is, is that we have a few unknowns about a couple of them. We're not sure where their heads are at or if they even want to work with us. Um, yeah. yeah, so it's quite a mystery, um, but yeah, I don't know. I think we plan to meet up again to talk after we've talked to a few people to see where people are thinking and where people are trying to go with the vote. But I think we're at least, I think in a similar wavelength overall, which is good. And we both don't want to vote each other out. Yeah. So if, you, if you're watching this, Whenever this airs, you will know that, God forbid, Geneva's name gets written down. It is not one of them. <laughs> and I will definitely not write my own name down, so there you go. And I'm not planning to write Mitch's name down at all, so. We're not going home this 
we're not going home this week. We're going to stay another week and continue in the game. And But we're excited. We're excited to start playing the game. But it's also like hard because it's like, who do we vote out? Hey, all. I was talking to you, Daisy, Summer, and Abby at Abby's place. And we were talking about who we think that we want to vote off. We're really between those three unknowns. Those unknowns being Eli, um, Andrew, and Jack. Um, we are aware that Jack is a super fan and he was involved with production in the fall first season of Survivor Syracuse. I do find it interesting that Andrew told me about Daisy and he's the one who threw out her name but told me that people are throwing around Daisy's name. So I don't know if he's trying to establish trust with me or something. And I don't know, just Eli's giving me weird responses. Um, but otherwise, you know, I don't really know. Uh, Daisy's planning to meet with Mitch tonight and they're gonna cook dinner. Hey yo, we're out here cooking some dinner. Um, the ultimate tea is that we are going to try to get Andrew out and it's because we think he's kind of being fake a little or a little, a little fake. He and hasn't come to any of the team bondings either, so. It's true, he's never like around to be or can make it and like to an extent I agree but I think there could be more net effort made and he's the, he threw my name around for trying to get me out they all kind of know I have the idol which makes no sense to try to vote me out when like I mean I like if, if they know I can save myself so it's stupid. I don't know what they're thinking. Mitchell and I are on the same page he's on the same page as voting Andrew out and any last remarks. Um, I don't think so. I mean, just that we're really good chefs, so. Yeah, Brussels sprouts, chickpeas, come on. We're making food. We're making dinner. We're cooking it here. Bonded for life. Boom. <laughs> so, the game starts here. Somebody's got to get put it off. Um, so, I got the Backstreet Boys Alliance, I believe. I got the Grad Alliance with Geneva. So, I'm going to try to talk to some people this week. See see where people's heads are at and see who we can vote off because I'm not trying to be voted off. Um, I have the mini idol, but um, I don't want to have to use it next week. So I'm gonna I don't know I don't know how to really approach it, but I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try to talk to a couple people, not talk to everyone, but uh, like three to four people. See where their heads are at. See who they're talking to, and then see if I can sneak in there with them and be with the vote. Okay, we got the grad alliance here. We're both wearing red. Yes, yeah, see, we're both matching, so clearly we're aligned together. I don't know. Yeah. Um, so we did a little bit of talking to just kind of get a sense where, you know, what we're both thinking and finding out kind of what the guys are thinking and what the girls are thinking. So the girls have been a little bit paranoid because since there are five guys and there are four girls on the tribe, we thought obviously that must mean that the guys are coming after the girls. There does seem like kind of a split between the guys and the girls, but I don't think it would last that long. Um, <laughs> I've heard of a name by Daisy as being the vote, so we'll see. I'm gonna snoop around, see where, the, see where some of the guys are thinking mm -hmm. and see what some of the girls are thinking as well. Um, yeah, and I actually heard from Andrew yesterday that Daisy was the consideration for being voted out. Um, for being voted out. So I guess matching up the information in general, it sounds like she is the consideration for the guys. So I'm glad that my name hasn't been dropped. Um, I hope Hopefully that it has <laughs> Nissan's has it to my knowledge, but it's really with the girls. I think everyone is just more concerned about the unknown. All right, everyone, welcome back to my cooking show. Today we are making peanut butter and chow. Now, um, so 
Survivor. That's the game we're playing, right? Um, first tribal tomorrow, actually. Yikes. Um, it's been an interesting week. Um, had some conversations with some people. So, the boys want to do a 5 4 easy vote out a girl, right? And that's just not exactly fun, you know? It's not exciting, it's kind of lame. Um, I know all, all my fans out there would be pretty disappointed if I just went along with that. So I reached out to Geneva and said, hey, this is what's going on. Let's not make it happen. Um, so yeah, met with Geneva, she's down. The girls want to vote out. Andrew, I said, okay, sounds good. Uh, last night, Daisy and I hung out, we cooked a meal, bonded, you know. Um, I confirmed she had an idol, which I got as a tip off from someone on the other tribe. Um, no one told me it was her, but there was word that someone had found an idol and I had figured it was Daisy. So she confirmed, just said, they don't want to vote. They shouldn't vote you out because you have an idol, right? And she's like, how do you know? She could have been bluffing, but I don't think so. Anyways, decided on Andrew. I'm gonna meet Geneva in a little bit. Talk about the vote. Um, they wanted someone else to switch so that it would be 6-3 instead of 5-4. And Geneva talked to Nassan. And that went pretty well because he texted me and was like, I don't want to vote out a girl with the guys. He wants to make an alliance with me, Geneva, and another girl. He said he would be okay to vote Daisy out this weekend, but why would we vote out someone with the idol? So I asked Daisy, maybe she wants to be in an alliance with the three of us as well. And I think she's open to it, at least for now. So I am here with a very special guest for this vlog. My sister Nettie is visiting and she heard a conversation that Addie and I had. Now, and she's also been ca um, caught up on the drama that is going on within the teams, my alliances, etc. And she has a word, little word. Um, I think that Daisy is very trustworthy and I think she's going to do um, well by her alliances. And um, I think she's very responsible. She's a great teacher. Thank you, Nettie. Hello, vlog squad. Daisy here. So lots of tea since I talked to you all last. Um, I'm here with the idol. Here's what's going down. I have an alliance with the girls and I now have an alliance with Mitchell. I also now have an alliance with Geneva, Nassan, and Mitchell. Will that all come out? Oh, and I have one with a Addie on the other tribe. Now, will this come back to bite me? I can see that happening. But what I'm most concerned about is keeping the girls with me and keeping Addie on the other team on my side. But also, I need Mitchell and Ornasan to vote with the girls this upcoming tribal council because we know Eli, Andrew, and Jack all want me out and because they know I have the idol. But if they're smart, they would not vote me out because if they know I have the idol, why would they do that? Because I'm just gonna play the idol if I know they're gonna vote me out. So what I'm trying, it's gonna be a risky play, but what I'm leaning towards is not playing the idol and hoping with my dear life that the girls, Mitch and Mitchell, do not go behind my back and vote to vote one of to vote to get like Andrew or Jack out. Eli is a power player. He's also not smart in this game right now because he's texting me one thing and texting like Geneva another and we're all talking. Geneva and I are talking by we. And like, so we're all in communication, but I don't know why he's saying one thing to another and one thing to me. It's all kind of up in the air right now, but 
I'm hoping I don't get eliminated because I don't want to play this. I'm going to bring it to tribal in case I change my mind. All right. So I just got off FaceTime with Jack, Andrew, Abby, and Summer. Uh, right now we have an alliance of five, which I think is pretty solid right now. Um, you know, five out of nine. So we got the numbers right there. So pretty much whoever we want gone is going to be gone. Um, we just got to decide who it is. Right now, our strategy is that uh, for Abby and Summer to work on the girls to see if they can find the snake, maybe, I don't know, flush them out. And for Andrew, Jack, and I to do the same with the guys. Yeah, okay, so Abby and I have been <laughs> doing way too much strategy talk than should be necessary for first vote. It's so annoying because I told her that I'm not sure how I feel about the three guys like right now and I just want to keep both of our alliances intact so she came up with the genius idea <laughs> to have me, Abby, Jack, Eli, and Andrew vote for Nissan and then pretend to our other alliance which is Geneva, um, Daisy, Mitch, and maybe Nissan to vote for whoever they want like they can vote for Eli. But then Nissan is the one that ends up going home. But then we tell them that we flipped and voted for Nissan because if we didn't, they were going to vote for Daisy. Right? Yeah, so pretty much Summer and I are in the middle of two alliances right now. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't on the front camera. Yeah, so pretty much Summer and I are in the middle of two alliances right now. So we have us two with the three guys, Eli, Andrew, Jack, has one side. And our other side being Nissan, Mitch, Geneva and Daisy. So we're trying to brainstorm a way that we can go get through this first vote without pissing anyone off, which seems impossible. Yeah, it seems but pretty impossible. My one thought is to vote with Andrew, Eli, Jack, tell them vote for Nissan. Us five vote for Nissan. Nissan's gone. And then our justification to Geneva, Daisy, Mitch, and Nissan, he'll be gone as to why we didn't vote with them is because if we is that because if us flipping and going with the guys just for this vote will tell them it was the only way to keep Daisy in with her idol. Yeah. 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 Whatever. Yeah. And we're gonna say the only reason the only way we could get the guys not to want Daisy out was to vote with them for the song. So it makes us it like it justifies it so that totally, we're still with them. Totally flip that idea. So like, then, just right. do some damage control after tribal yeah, damage, but and be that's like, like salvageable versus yeah. if we vote Daisy out, that's not salvageable. You know okay, but, okay, like, that's a great idea, but counter argument. Yeah, open. Let's hear it. <laughs> um, sorry. Uh, counter argument. <laughs> if, if we do vote out Daisy, uh -huh. because we think she's a snake, and if yeah, what, I, we heard is true that she's like talking to our tribe and whatnot. Mm. So <laughs> um, and we can put her out, like, even if all hell like, breaks loose, if we just like stick as a five, yeah, that's, nothing no, that's matters. Agreed. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, I just got done meeting with Abby, Summer, uh, Eli, and Andrew, and we just got some news that um, the girls convinced Mitchell and the son to flip. Dang, boys, you made a mistake. Summer and Abby are with us. It's gonna be five and four. We're taking the sun out. Gotta take the middle man out. He thinks he's got an advantage by picking which side he wants to be on. It's not the case, he's going home. Man, I told you guys, do not mess with me. If you come at me, you're going home. That's what's gonna happen this entire game. If you come at me or my boys, you're going home. The plan is, the sun's going home. Then we're gonna get back to winning. If we lose, Mitchell or Daisy are going home. Bunch of snakes. We got snakes on our team. We gotta infiltrate them out. I'm, I'm sorry, but we're going all the way. Me, Andrew, Eli, Summer, Abby, we're going all the way, whether you like it or not. We got five, we got the core alliance. All right, got a lot, of, a lot to break down right now. Let's start with earlier in the week. I had a group FaceTime call with my core alliance of myself, Eli, Jack, um, Abby, and Summer. We initially decided we were going to go with Daisy because we had some 
I guess, thought she was gonna be the snake. Um, it was, we had thought it was either her or Mitchell. Um, I had talked to Nassan, he told me he wasn't, he sent pictures, so I believed him. Mitchell, when we texted in the guy's group chat, never said anything about being the snake, and he was very quick to jump on Daisy. I think that was a little suspicious. I think he's hiding something. I think he might, thought he might be the snake. Let's flash forward to about an hour ago. Um, I had a rush event tonight. So unfortunately I missed our Alliance meeting. Um, it, so Abby, Summer, Eli, Jack all met up, talked about it. I caught up with them afterwards. If I understand everything correctly, we found out that Mitchell is aligned with Geneva and the girls. And we think he's gonna take precedence with them over the guys' alliance. Um, so, right now, what the, they think they have, is they think they have us six to three. They think that they have all the girls, Mitchell and Nassan, versus just me, Eli, and Jack. However, we know that Summer and Abby are with us, so we still have the numbers. So now comes into question, who do we vote out? Because if we vote out Daisy, we're gonna lose that inside alliance that the girls have because Geneva's gonna lose it. Or I wouldn't say that's, that's a bad word. She's gonna be very suspicious. She'll know that something's up. So the plan, unfortunately now, is to vote out Nassan. That way everyone keeps their core alliances together, the girls stay together unaware, and we still have them um, outnumbered. It sucks. I don't want to vote out Nassan. I really like Nassan. I think he's really good. He's been really good at all the challenges so far. I've talked to him a few times. It sucks. It really does. I don't want to vote him out. But strategy-wise, what's best for me, what's best for my people that I'm looking out for, is unfortunately voting him off. So more scrambling has just occurred. I just recently got off the phone with Geneva and now they want to vote off Andrew. And I think it's because Andrew was the one who first suggested to vote off Daisy. And then now since I'm technically in alliance with Daisy, I'm obliged or I feel like they feel like I'm obliged to vote uh, for Andrew. But I kind of like Andrew. He seems like a nice guy. I'd rather be someone else than him, but it doesn't look like I have any options here this week, so I might have to just go with the numbers, but I'm thinking maybe I could give him my idol, but then the I know the Backstreet Boys are voting for Daisy, and the girls and Mitchell are voting for Andrew, so regardless, like, whether I vote with them or not, I don't really have a say, um, but I kind of want to give him my idol, but... If, if I'm gonna be in an alliance with Daisy, I don't want him to vote. I don't want Daisy to be voting off, so. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if I can scramble something, get Andrew to get someone else to vote off somebody, maybe Summer, you know? I'm, I'm kind of beefing with Summer because she didn't respond back to me, so. She's gonna be in the back of my mind to be voted out next. So it's currently in the morning before Tribal Council. A very, uh, very much a sense of eeriness in the air today. Um, still haven't decided if I'm gonna vote with the five on Andrew or if I'm gonna try to either tell Andrew he needs to scramble or just tell him to, or give him my idol and tell him to vote for Summer. But we'll see, I haven't decided yet. That's like a lot for one morning, but I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so I have to leave for Tribal in about an hour. Honestly, really nervous, even though I don't think I'm going home. Just because I wish it was just like an easy vote, and it's not. Because the girls are going to be really upset at Abby and I. And I just hope that our cover works. I think we're going to just say that we had to vote with the boys because we thought they were all going to vote for Daisy, and they said unless we voted for them, then they would vote out Nassan. If you look behind you, you'll see your torch lit. This represents your life, so when your fire is gone, so are you. So let's get straight into it. 
So Eli, as a Survivor fan, how are you playing? How are you reacting to playing this game, Survivor Series? I mean, it's I've always been a, like wanted to be on Survivor, um, and so I mean it's it's like really cool for me. Just like you know, I mean I mean it's travel council, someone's gotta go, but you know it's also exciting at the same time. Like it's like it's like you get a, you gotta pin your summons, but you're also excited because you know it's travel council. Um, but yeah, I mean. I, I don't know. I feel like on like the actual show, people like talk a lot with the other tribes. I, I mean, this might just be me. I haven't really been talking to a lot of people, so I don't know. Interesting. Hassan, what do you think about that? What do you think about what Eli has to say, as well as your own experience in this game? Um, I, I feel like series coming from. Uh, uh, it's kind of exciting, but nerve wracking. Definitely nervous. It's our first travel council in the cold. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's been a, uh, it's been hectic. Been a lot of. Nerve-wracking, nervousness. So, Summer, what is one thing that you expected to see or not expected when coming into this game? What is something you didn't expect? Um, how worried I am about the other tribe. I think I didn't expect that I'd be thinking about them so much. But since we've all clicked well, the, the other tribe has really been on my mind, which is scary because it's so early in the game. But you got to think ahead. So. Geneva, Summer brings up a good point. I mean, even though Zaleti's been the two tribal councils compared to your guys as one, they also have two advantages, so you have to weigh those pros and cons. How are you stressing as your tribe also while thinking about the other tribe? Yeah, I think it's been a little complex because even I think throughout the week, I've like been hearing about things that like are going on on the other tribe or they're hearing about things that are going on on our tribe. So I'm just like, the fact that they know what's going on with us is really crazy. And I mean, I don't even really know what's even happening, but I think it's quite surprising to hear that they might know more information than I do about my own tribe. Andrew, let's look about, let's uh, talk about your tribe for just a moment. So obviously we have all different age ranges from freshmen to grad students. How are you guys meshing as a tribe? I think we've uh, meshed really well. Um, I don't have any problem with anyone in the tribe. I think I get along with everyone really well. Um, I trust all of them, so I think that's a fair way to say that we get along pretty well. Daisy, I know you guys went to brunch, or at least some of you. Um, even though it's been three weeks, how close have you created relationships within this tribe? Um, I think that, um, I would say we are all fairly close, um, for the most part. And, um, I think just naturally, if we have some of us, like, I have class with Summer, and so, like, I think naturally if you see people more, you're going to talk to them more, but... Um, so far, I'd say as a tribe, we're all pretty like strong and unified. Um, but like as Summer was saying as well, and it's interesting to kind of just think about the other tribe and are they meshing as well as we think we are? What are their conflicts? What do they know about us that we don't know? Stuff like that. Jack, obviously you guys mesh together well. I mean, you were you won the first two immunities. How hard does that make this vote? Uh, it's very hard. Um, you obviously don't want anyone to go out. Um, but eventually it's got to happen, and I mean, we all sign up for this game, and it's just part of it. You know, people are going to be voted out. I mean, 95% of us are going to get voted out, and one person's going to win. So we all got to accept, accept the fact that you're going to snuff our torch, most likely. Fair enough. Abby, since, it, since, since this is your first vote, sometimes the first vote can go easy, sometimes the first vote can go really hard. Do you think it might be one either side of the spectrum today? I think it was hard for our tribe just because we are especially close I think in comparison to the other tribe they were week one and two out of the gate and they didn't get a chance to know each other but since we made it so far without having a vote someone off we just got that much closer which just makes it that much suckier for this week. So let's move on to the challenge. Mitchell, walk me through what happened in the challenge. One of the more physical ones, Mike on the other team had to get stitches, he's good, but uh, what, what happened? What went wrong? What went right? What do you think? Our tribe did pretty well. Uh, they dropped the rock more than we did, and it really just came down to the carrying the balls across. Um, I thought uh, our tribe did really well, but they just came out like sprinting with that ball. And lucky for them, they didn't drop it. Um, they did knock our players in the first one or the second one, I think. Um, I don't know how much that affected it, but they ended up winning by just that close. Daisy, uh, Mitchell, speak
speaks about the ball being kind of the serving factor. Does that mean you and Abby might be in the air today? I mean, I wouldn't like to point the blame on anybody, <laughs> but um, I mean, seeing that it was Abby and I carrying the balls, I think at the end of the day, like all things considered, it was annoying for Abby and I that it was, um, I guess, ultimately um, we are the last um, leg of that part of the challenge but I would say we did give it our all and as a team we worked really well together so despite the fact that we did lose the challenge we did work well as a team and showed that we worked well as a team um, and that's what I can I still think I'm proud of what we put out. Well on another note Jack you weren't there for the, uh, for the past challenge hope you're feeling better by the way but with that comes the possibility of your name being out there just because you weren't there do you feel at risk today? Absolutely. You know, I feel like if I was there, I could help the team win. Um, I really don't know what went on at the challenge, but uh, we didn't win, obviously, and I feel like I'm at fault for that. So obviously, I'm a little worried my name could be written down. Um, but I feel like it could be 50 50. I either go home or I stay. Geneva, do you think Jack is justified being a little nervous, or do you think, you know, you're safe? You yeah, know. I, I do think. Uh, Jack definitely has like a justification for feeling nervous. I really feel like this vote, you know, could potentially come down to, you know, I maybe because one thing, okay, so one thing that I've noticed in general that makes this version of Survivor different is that we do, we're not on the island together, we're not like living together. So that does make it difficult for us to really keep in contact and talk. So I feel like this vote could theoretically come down to who we know or who we don't know. Masad, Geneva brings up a good point. This vote may not be as clear as it might be. How do you base your vote? How do you base this vote? Based, based off loyalty, based off people you talk to? Uh, I'll probably base off this vote uh, even who I talk to and trust the most. So, Summer, talk to me about what happened throughout this week. You guys have six days, seven days to talk. It's a, lot of, a lot of time that happened. Uh, walk me through what happened. Yeah, it was honestly a lot of time to think about things because obviously on the real show you have like less than three days and everyone's in a place all together. So I feel like it was a lot of one on one conversations and I'm not really sure what could have happened beyond that because it's just hard to get everyone together. So it's kind of scary to try and figure out who's aligned with each other since you're not around each other all the time and you can anyone can talk with anyone privately at any point so i think it'll tell a lot based on the results of today andrew what do you do with this kind of snake twist do you take them out to get the challenge advantage so you're not in that week or do you kind of keep them so you can have that advantage to share oh uh, i think for me it kind of depends on the relationship i have if i were to go to the snake um i think if it was someone i would trust i would keep them in maybe see if i could work with them or something like that but if it's someone like that i don't trust as much that might be more fun to uh, get the advantage of the control lastly Geneva, let's talk about idols a little bit so you guys had two opportunities to get clues for your perspective idol do you think one might be out there um i think it's definitely possible when i was looking at like what the first clue was and the second clue they seemed that they were pretty connected with one another so it's possible that someone on our tribe probably still hasn't found an idol yet, but I think there's also still a possibility that someone could and they're not saying anything. So I think, you know, I guess you can expect the unexpected. So, no. Last two. Nassan. Um First one, it's a hard, it's a hard choice, but gotta put someone out there.
sorry for writing your name down, but you were going after Daisy, so I had to vote you out. Once the votes are read, the person voted out will be asked to leave the tribal council area immediately. If anybody has a hidden immunity idol and wants to play one, now will be the time to do so. All right, I'll read the votes. First vote. Stay tuned from scenes from our next episode. Well, this sucks. Uh, had the idol, should have used it. Um, it was fun. Competitive group of boys and girls there. Had a good time. And hopefully someone from Rune 9 wins. Next time on Survivor Syracuse. After a great blindside, how will the girls' alliance stay intact? Will Mitch and Geneva have to fight from the bottom? How will Erica react to both advantages, one being an idol and the other a snake advantage? And another fake idol planted by Hannah gets placed into the game.